to thank all candidates that have participated in this election because finally the entire Chile is looking at, at us and democracy is built with everybody. I want to thank Marco Enrique, Franco Parisi, Eduardo, and also Jose Antonio Cast. And yes, Jose Antonio Cast. The future of Chile needs all of them together with the people. And I do hope that we have the that we have the the courage to put together the difference and build a nation. We will be able to build bridges so that our countrymen are able to live better because this is what is demanded from our people today. By the way, thanks to my family, my mother, father, my, my two brothers and my grandparents who are no longer with us. And Irina, my travel partner, we are the milestones of my days and and you are also part of my being here today as you know i come from afar i come from the south from magallanes almost touching the antarctica and i am 35 years old and i know and i know this the history does not start with us i feel that i am a, a heir And I feel that our project is heir of a long historical journey with different positions. And they have seeked to find justice, the widening of democracy, the defense of human rights, and the, the protection of, of liberty. That's the big family, and that's the family I like to see together once again in this stage that we started today. We are in the midst of a historical change. I will be the president of all Chileans, men and women. Of those who have voted today for this project and those who are filling the squares of the whole Chile, those who also, those who elected an alternative and also those who did not decide to vote. I have I have stuck to the families and we and we have we're clear about what we need to do the times to come will not be easy we must face social consequences economic consequences of the worst pandemic that our country has lived for more than a century and also the reasons of an outbreak of violence that are still present today, we are clear. Some people did not see it coming. Some people say that nothing has happened, but we know that there are demands for justice and dignity, and this is in the heart of, of the people. We will move forward step by step, strong steps, learning from our history. Because Chile has a brief history as a national state, Hardly two centuries of life, regardless, independent but rich in success and frustrations as well, achievements too. Moments have been beautiful and moments have been tremendously difficult and everyone within their families is aware of that. And we have learned of this experience. To, today we may be sure of many more things. And that one thing is that the economic growth that is based on inequality should know that only with social cohesion and sharing a, a common floor, we will be able to move forward onto, onto a proper development, including all Chilean families. That includes families that are trying to raise honorable men and women. We do not want <laughs> we don't want to have the phrases of Nicanor Parra 
We don't want phrases when they cannot power uh, para become part of our lives. We want the progress to reach a population, the sectors, and the most out of the way areas. This is a environment that we have to change and we will change. Two. Destabilized democratic institution leads to the realm of abuse, the law of the jungle, and the damage of the weakest. My commitment is to protect democracy every day of our government and a substantive democracy that is not just a vote, which is important. I'm talking about a democracy where neighborhoods and populations, organizations, social organizations, and civil society have an, a word, they have a say. Without that, it won't, wouldn't be a democracy. Three, <laughs> the main advances to become solid, it's going to require wide agreements. And to reach those, we must move step by step. We cannot risk what families have done. And four, which I believe is tremendously important, the respect of human rights is always and at any place a commitment. And for no reason could we have a president declares the war against his own people. Chileans, men and women, victims of violation, victims of human rights violations of full times. We will never be tired of seeking of seeking for truth, reparation, justice and non-repetition.